Health station listed affected areas to include Abeokota South local government area, which remains the worst affected with 76 of the 104 reported cases. And while assuring that proactive measures are being put in place to curtail the spread of the disease, the State Commissioner for Health, Ms. Olao Kung Shuinka, challenged residents to maintain personal and environmental hygiene. It's an outbreak of vomiting and diarrhea, some of which is cholera, some of which is not, all of which are caused by the same thing. Poor hygiene, fecal contamination of water and of food, uh, poor disposal of refuse and so on. And the message to the communities, therefore, is also the same, uh, that uh, they should uh, pay uh, more attention to uh, environmental hygiene. And now when these uh, germs are circulating, which means you can come into contact, you, nobody now knows where they will come into contact uh, with these germs. So we urge everybody to, uh, we want to encourage the habit of frequent hand washing with soap and water, properly cooked food, uh, use uh, portable water, that is uh, water from a, 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 um, a hygienic source. And if you cannot be sure that your water is hygienic, then boil your water thoroughly. Ogun State Commissioner for Health, Mr. Olao Kunshoinka. While fighting crime now, police in Ogun State have assured residents of their safety. And this comes on the heels of the arrest of a middle-aged man by the state's police command on suspicion of being a member of the Boko Haram sect. The commander also encouraged information sharing from members of the public. There was no time, there was no room for him to even spread his tentacles or to even have a rest at all in Ogun State. The Aousa and Fulani communities all over the states we are working together. They noticed a strange movement, a strange feast amongst them. And we have completed, we, are, we, are, we have decided to make sure that all of us are incorporated in the security arrangement on ground. He was picked immediately. He's a, he was a fleeing, fleeing, fleeing suspect, not a resident suspect. So people should not have the belief that since they are picked, the, uh, uh, Umaru, I think Umaru, since they have picked him in Ogun State, that they have many members. In the, we don't have many members uh, of them, of the Boko Haram sect in Ogun State. It's just a fleeing suspect, and that is all. And we are still intensifying our effort to make sure we don't give them uh, any room to, to come into Ogun State or to even coexist. To, to co with any one of us in Ogun State. Ogun State is safe and continue to be safe. Meanwhile, in the southeastern Nigeria's Security and Civil Defense Corps, Abia State Command is harping on the need to protect critical infrastructure from vandals. In Umwaha, the state capital, the NSCDC Commandant, Mr. Ben Dukoro, said that there is need to create awareness and partnerships that would reduce the spate of vandalism of telecom installations and oil pipelines. Divers interest groups are represented here. They include other sister security agencies, stakeholders on security, representatives of telecommunications companies, as well as traditional rulers who oversee the communities where most of the facilities are installed and located. It is a critical infrastructure stakeholders private guard companies forum, which is timely, going by the incessant loss of lives and properties through vandalism. It is as a result of the existing and emerging challenges towards the protection of being above critical infrastructures and more that necessitated the signing of an MOU between the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps and the stakeholders for the provision of adequate security and protection for these facilities everywhere in the country. In their various contributions, participants are of the view that the mandate given to the NSCDC by the federal government has paved the way for them to work in synergy. The problem to understand, whenever you have information about a criminal or a crime to be committed, put it in any other, any other organization, even including the police who are the custodians of criminals. The Nigerian and Security and Defense Corps have provided to the nation, amiable force, amiable security to defend the state and the nation at large. Infrastructure is provided by the government for its citizens, all in the bid to build a synergy between the government and the people. 
The National Defence College says it will increase the number of international participants in its programme from 11 to 18 in 2013. The increase, according to the commandant of the college, Rear Admiral Thomas Lockerson, is a way of strengthening the cordial bilateral relations that exist between Nigeria and the participating countries. Meanwhile, 131 participants are expected to graduate from course 21, which ends next week. This huge number is a reflection of both the growing demand for vacancies in the college and our capacity to respond to such demands. Particularly, if we recollect that course one started with tight participants in 1992. There are still plans to further expand the intake of international participants in the years ahead as a means of strengthening the cordial bilateral relationships that already exist between Nigeria and those countries. Indeed, 18 international participants are expected for the next course, that's course 22, and uh, would include participants from Bangladesh, India, and Pakistan. We expect the United States to join in 2014 for course 23. Away from security and defense, over 2,000 households in Anambra State are beneficiaries of the 2012 MDG conditional cash transfer scheme. Families in five selected local government areas got monies totaling 375 million naira. A program aims to reduce extreme poverty and hunger, especially in the grassroots. From five local government areas classified under the poorest council areas in the state, 2,254 households emerged beneficiaries in the 2012 MDG's conditional cash transfer scheme. The local government areas include Ogbaru, Anambra West, Anocha, Orumba North, and Ihiala. Each of the benefiting households will be receiving a monthly stipend of 5,000 Naira, a GSM phone, and at the end of one year period, a lump sum of empowerment fund to be invested gainfully. To reduce poverty in our state and Nigeria to the glory of God. <laughs> Representative of the Senior Special Assistance to the President on MDGs give an insight into what the conditional cash transfer is. Nigeria needs to achieve a new success in meeting the Millennium Development Goals. Then there is the need for us to increase investment in social sensitivity. Parents were also charged to make their children's education a top priority, while Governor Peter Obi promised that every process of GSM distribution and payment of the stipend will be completed within one week. Two weeks from today, everything will be admitted and for sure. And it will be all like that. There are high hopes that the gesture will not stop only at five local government areas, but will spread to the remaining 16, and for the beneficiaries, that they all use the money judiciously in enrolling their wards in schools and in accessing maternal care for women of childbearing age. Still ahead on the news at 10, the Nigeria liquid fired natural gas leads force majeure on gas exports. That will be on Business News. Do join us again. When searching for a good bank, you have to be very discerning. So you don't get one thing and miss out on others. Well, your search is over at First Bank. We offer a variety of products and services made with you in mind. From flexible loans, easy access to cash, bill payments from anywhere in the world, to savings for the little ones. Make that switch today. Contact us to learn more about the many products and services we have designed for your convenience. First Bank, truly the first. 
for Friday evening, good Sunday evening, when you are recharging, press star 888 star your recharge card pin. The compressor has 100% wow. <laughs> bonus. So enter your phone if you make you take it to any house where you like. MTN. Every